In today's video, I'm reviewing the Mountain Warehouse Navigator 2 UV Sun Shirt. The shirt is designed as a hiking outdoors adventure shirt for the summer. The idea of a long sleeve shirt for the summer is something of an alien concept to me. I've always worn short sleeve t-shirts over the summer. Why wouldn't you? More recently, I've been getting concerned about the UV damage to my skin and the potential risk of skin cancer. My job is a gardener, so I'm out in the sun all day all summer long and my hobbies are all outdoor based so I get a lot of sun and that's where a UV sun shirt comes in. It gives your skin the protection from those dangerous UV rays but is also designed to be light, breathable and vented to keep you cool enough during the summer. The shirt has a number of features that are specifically designed to make it suitable for this application and the first thing is that it is a uv shirt so it has a uv rating of 50 plus which is equivalent to a really good sun cream and it's going to mean that your arms and your body are going to be protected from the dangerous uv rays so it has this uv protection built in which is primarily down to the close-knit weave of the fabric it's a nylon fabric and with a little bit of elastine in there for a bit of stretch and with it being made of nylon the material itself is pretty tough there's no doubt that you're going to be a bit warmer wearing this than say a shirt just because you haven't got the same ventilation but it does a good job of breathing and keeping you relatively cool it is very quick drying as well the fabric so if you get wet or sweaty it dries very quickly you've got a number of other features in here to try and get some air, fresh air in and keep you cool so you've got vents under the arms and a back vent which is uh, meshed uh, and I must admit they do a really good job. If you're out in the full sun and it's like 30 degrees, you're not gonna notice them to be honest and you're gonna get a little bit hot in here, there's no doubt about that. But when it's slightly cooler, you do notice those vents and that fresh air coming up through your back and under your arms is actually really nice. So I love those features. You've got three pockets on the shirt. They're all up on the chest. So you've got a hidden little zip pocket and two of these main uh, button pocket. You've also got simple adjustable sleeves and a little button hook on the top of the sleeves. So when you roll up the sleeves, you can hook it on that to keep them up. The two main things that convinced me to get this shirt was the price and the sizes available. Now, I'm a small gentleman. Uh, I'm really admit that and most shirts are too big. Mountain Warehouse offer extra, extra small, extra small and small. It's nice that they have actually got some small sizes that fit us who are not massive. They do still go up to four times extra large, but there you go. This one is an extra small and I also bought the small, which I'll explain why I did a little bit later on. In both cases, they fit really nicely. The small, extra small is the one I'm wearing now. I bought it thinking that it was gonna be fit perfectly and it does I think it looks pretty good but because I'm wearing it for um, work and was just going to be a little bit restrictive with what I wanted to do so I went for the small as my sort of work one just because it gives you that little bit more space but I've kept the extra small as well because it just fits better and I'm going to wear this for hiking and walking price was another big thing I always say in these videos that it's too expensive it's really just because I'm tight but the price point was £30, which for a sort of a bit of a gamble, uh, just wanted to try the principle, it was perfectly fine. I was happy to spend that. So I think that's a, a great price point for it. It does actually retail at £60, which if you were buying it at that point, I would say it was too expensive. Another little plus is it came with recyclable packaging and labels, which for me is another little tick. In terms of cons, it really comes down to the quality of the shirt itself. Now out of the packet, there are a few pulled threads, there's a few loose threads, missed stitches. It just is a little bit lackluster in terms of the quality. I don't think it's gonna fall apart in five minutes, but you know, if you, were pay, if you paid 60 pounds for it, you'd be a bit miffed, I think. With that in mind, I'm not 100% sure how well is it gonna last. I've only been wearing it a relatively short period of time. And so far it's held up fine, but it's early days. I have noticed because it's such a light fabric, it is vulnerable to things like thorns and brambles and if you do go near one of those it does tend to pull a thread which is quite annoying because obviously it sort of makes a, a line on the fabric um, despite having this sort of ripstop fabric which to my understanding is designed to stop that it still does and just sort of makes it look a bit scruffy before its time the fact that it's a uv shirt and will actually degrade over time as the fabric breaks down 
it's probably not a bad thing that it's only going to last maybe uh, a season or two. All in all, I think it is a very good shirt. I've been wearing it as a work shirt and so far I've been very impressed. And I think in the case of wearing it for hiking, I think it will be perfect. All of those features, the quick drying, lightweight, breathability, are all going to be really useful for that. And they're also very important for me wearing it out working. Of course, I will leave a link to it in the description. And if you've got any questions about it, drop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And that just leaves me to say thanks again for watching. Bye for now.